Why have I got a train that's not doing anything? I think I do. Ladies and gents, here we go again. This is Poison Fog Gaming and the main purpose of this video is to alert you to the free games that you can get right now. There's probably two days left if you see this video just as it's been uploaded until September the 17th at 4pm, that is British time. You can get Railway Empire and Where the Water Tastes Like Wine. Today we are going to be firing up Railway Empire and showing you a little bit of what the game's about, but even if you just ignore the rest of the video and run off to buy it now, please at least give us a wee like, let me know that you have been here and enjoyed what you have seen. For now, let's load up the game. So straight away, this is a, an older but a wonderful game, and the start is also something to behold. If you like trains, this little intro will get you really in the mood for it. How cool is that? There we are, some beautiful old engines. As I say, it's a slightly older game, but it looks good. Uh, it actually holds up to today's standards quite well, I think, just in terms of the graphics. This game is a precursor to things like Transport Fever and Train Fever 1 and 2. And it's a very similar, if not maybe a little bit more advanced, than Sid Meier's Railroads. And God bless, I do love Sid Meier's. Um, DLC, there are 8 DLCs, I'm clicking through them just now, you get them all with the free game. Every single one of them comes with the free game. We also have the options for our campaign, scenarios, free mode, sandbox mode, etc. I have played through a couple of the campaigns. From what I can tell, both of these campaigns do seem to be a little bit of a tutorial, which helps. So the decision we are going to make is we are going to play chapter 2 of the campaign. There's a little bit of tutorial in there, but it's a stage beyond the basics. This guy is a knob. I cannot stand this guy, he's a smug little prick with his little steel toe cap shoes and if you, you leave him on the screen long enough you'll start talking you'll start talking again you're a twat shut up we've called him Boris so yeah the first tutorial goes over the simple 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 stuff also worth noting that the words here really really quiet so yes I'm talking over them I assume you'll not be able to hear them and enjoy a magic edit into the game okay we're in the game I'm Philip Evan Thomas it's we have a Frankenstein like creature so we have this dude that looks like Frankenstein pop up far too regularly um, I love the game, I love the concept, but this tutorial is a little bit too talk heavy by lots of different characters. I'm sure it's necessary, but because I've played other games in the genre, it kind of gets a little bit on my tits. These are our two tasks to start with. Connect Baltimore and Washington and connect three rural businesses to our network. Now it looks like Baltimore already has a big station in it, 
So we do not need to build one there. What we do need to do is build a station in Washington. And there is no penalty, it would seem, for building your station on previously built infrastructure. The rails are in a different um, menu, and it's actually quite intuitive the oh, way the tracks build. In and, oh dear Greetings God, shut the up, city you! Of Charlotte. What was your name again? Beautiful stranger, wasn't it? Well, that's what you look like. Just let me know if you need help push starting your trains. All right, we're going to call you Big Bo Peep. So we have a single track in here. We have to add a train, to buy the train by first clicking buy, and then well, secondly, to be clear, shut up. I have nothing against strangers. Some of my best friends are strangers. But you're not from here. The and New Mafia York is, is my here. City. That's where I do business. I say when the trains roll, where they're going, and why. As long as you don't get in my way, everything will be a okay between us. Shush. So, as I was saying, you have to buy the train, then you have to buy the train. Shut up. I don't need this much talk. I'm sure the sandbox is amazing. I think obviously this is the tutorial. And tutorials always annoy me. Anyway, the trains. You have to buy it. You have to buy it. You have to leave, and then you go to set up rail line. Clickety click, clickety click. That is one train line built. Now it'll go back and forth, back and forth, and it'll pick up just whatever needs picked up. Uh, it, I think that means people and goods. It also wanted three rural. Uh, what did it say? Three rural businesses to our network. Now we can be a little bit cheeky. Click on Baltimore and see what it needs and wants. Here we have a weekly demand. Its largest demand is uh, grain, then cattle, then corn, wood, meat, beer, cotton. And I'm sure if we have a little look, we have cattle and corn nearby and wood nearby as well. So I think these are the ones we're going to connect first. What we need to do is build a station by each of those. Shift and the mouse wheel will rotate your stations. And we need one more. I'll buy this wood. Now to the track. I am building the track by my competition first, just in case he decides to be a little bit of an annoying. I'll, I'll not swear. And it's also worth looking at the terrain as we do this, also, because that does affect just how much money things are going to cost. So that's not too bad. One trench and one bridge. We shall do a similar thing over here. Perfect. Now we do have the options to double track these lines if we want to. Um, but I am just going to put a little X crossing here rather than double track them the whole way up. And if we go to our signals, we'll quickly run through how the signals work because they're a little bit unintuitive. 
you click to place it, you can click again to change the direction, and it's a shift click to make that one way. And we are going to make a little one way system here. So there's the click again to change direction, shift click, and that will allow two different trains to pass at one time. We now need to buy our trains. Click buy, click buy again, exit, set up the rail line, and click both stations. We have to do that one more time. It does feel like they could have had a few less clicks to make all this happen, but these are the lessons that have been learned and now utilised into more modern games. Like I stress, this is still fun, it's just tutorials that annoy me. Next up, the logging. Uh, we have to connect that up as well. Now, you will notice there are four different platforms here. We're only using one at the moment, We've giving ourselves plenty option to expand. I'm not going to go into Washington with this line. I'm going to put it straight, oh, apart from that big bridge that I don't like. I think that might have to do it. I'm going to go straight into the station here. The bigger a city gets, the greater its lands get to. That's simple. Goods from the immediate area will no longer be enough. That's where the railroad comes in handy. Now select Baltimore to take a closer look at the city. Baltimore, where the headquarters of our firm is located, has a high quality industry. The city therefore needs a constant supply of fabric. In New York, on the other hand, the fashion conscious customers are waiting for deliveries of ready tailored goods. Lay a rail line between Baltimore and New York so that the clothing produced in Baltimore can be delivered to New York. So that is our new task. New York is up here, and the way we've set this up, we can quite easily use our existing rail line to limit the cost. So we go into our station building, what's the deal with the station? Are you oh, looking for a fight? Oh, did I shut him up? I didn't know I could do that, but I have. He was a whingy wee so and so anyway. Alright, why can't I place track? Alright, what's going on here? There seems to be a, an error. Now I can place track. Oh, that is very expensive to do that. We'll maybe see if we can get this cheaper. If we tail this line here, I think this will end up cheaper by not having to build a tunnel. Alright, that'll do. I think. Should work. Why is it not letting me do the pay and build thing? Is it because I've not connected it up yet? We do want to double track this. There we go. And to double track that all the way up to here, but we're going to put in another X and another couple of signals just so that we can get trains running all at the same time. And I do like it if trains drive on the right hand side. I don't know why we don't even drive on our roads on the right hand side here, but I think it started during train fever. That little habit of mine, just to make sure things worked.
Right, is that not, um... That's not recognised. Let's get a train on it and see if that's what we need. We'll add a locomotive. Bye. Bye. Set up the line. New York. Baltimore. Great, that has satisfied Frankenstein. We have tasks. So 20 loads of clothing to New York, that should already be underway. 10 loads of cotton to Pittsburgh and connect Baltimore to Pittsburgh. So this is Pittsburgh here, this is the cotton. It's very, very hilly terrain once again. And I think coming round this hill and then via the riverbed is going to be the best option. So let's position our stations to accommodate that. And of course this is going to be a double track segment. Oh, I didn't finish that. Apologies with the zooming in and zooming out, but it does get quite fiddly when it's, you know, when you're doing certain tasks. And we are going to need some signals here. We get a train on that, we will automatically start to meet one of our tasks, our task of delivering 10 loads of cotton to Pittsburgh. So let's get our train. Clickety click, clickety click. Job done. And now to connect here. To here and it's going to be an interesting build this one well, as small a tunnel as possible I think possibly there oh that's a big bridge no let's see if we can try that again we can adjust things making it worse mm, yeah so making this much worse so much worse and I don't know how to go back anymore This tunnel here, this is a big tunnel. I might redraw this line from scratch. Because I had it cheaper and then it stopped being quite as cheap as it once was. Done it, that's what we want. A little bit of fiddling to avoid bridges and tunnels, and we are there. And the 
without even connecting a train to it, it has passed us. And so these goals, it should just be a case of taking a little bit of time now. Although while that time is ticking down, I think it'd be good to double track a lot of our sections just to make sure we have no issues going forward. Oh, don't make such a fuss. No, it's big old Pete. Bad press never hurt anyone. Oh, I missed what that press said. I should probably have looked because I think that would have applied to me. It might be that I've not put um, supply towers on my lines, which is something that's needed. So that should service everything north. Should service everything south. And we can put another one in there. Baltimore need more claw. What do you mean I must build a route? What do you think this is? Is this not a railroad line to you? Is that not a train? What are your warning? I think that's working. I really do think that's working. However, if I want to send a train from Baltimore to Pittsburgh, what I need to do is double track from the logging to Baltimore. I'll have you. We have an auction. This gives us more passengers, which will be more profit. Last time I'm going to try and bid for it. I've got no idea exactly where the limit should be. Why are you getting in my way again? Oh, shush. Auction is over. Brilliant. I think we now have that. Do that is up there. We also have other points. Oh, so if I take this as well, that puts our passengers up 10%. That's useful. Now, as I said, we want to double track from the logging to to our station because we're going to have two trains on this track at any one time. What's wrong with that? It costs too much. Oh, that's slightly annoying. Let's take the bridge out if we can. We'll just do two passing places rather than Double the bridge should end up cheaper. As long as these sections are uh, longer than a train, that should work. I'm not convinced that one is, but needs must. I'll put another one in here if we can afford to and we can afford to the signals are thankfully free although I didn't buy myself enough money for the train yet, did I? That was a mistake. How are my tasks doing? We are getting caught into Pittsburgh, so I don't know what those exc exclamation points were about. That's getting done. Clothing to New York, why is it not getting done? We definitely put a train on it, as far as I remember. Uh, 
Um, I don't see a train though. Is it you? Have I got a train that's not doing anything? I think I do. Long route. Um, we've got four years to do that though, that should be fine. Fingers crossed. We have more innovation points. Transportation of live animals. What do you give us? Extra speed. Oh, I've already got you unlocked. Increases. Transport from mail. Let's take the mail upgrade. See if we can get some more money in. Oh, I think we can get a train now. Yes, it's only 30,000. <laughs> only. And you are going to go from Baltimore to Pittsburgh. I thought it would make sense if you stopped other places en route. So Baltimore, logging, cotton, Pittsburgh, and back again. There's no reason for you not to do all of that journey. And that's hopefully going to be one of the more profitable lines. Alright, so it's just a waiting game now, it's going to take another presumably two trips for that train to get to New York with clothing. So it might just be a case of trying to expand. You can hire train crews in the staff oh, yes. dialogue. Then you'll need to view the train details of we'll the take all of you to assign the staff to it. I think now, they get assigned the automatically. Of your most important train and assign an engineer and a stoker to it. Um How do I get a list of my trains? Not like that. Surely there's an engine shed. No, that's not my trains. That's just what we've got to unlock. How do I see my train? I only see one at a time. Because that's fairly pants. That's the case. New York to Baltimore. That should be a profitable line. Let's get our personnel in here. Reduce the maintenance, that sounds like a shout. Why did that not... It's back, did not work, did closing it work? What? Oh come on, I just want a list of my trains. Train list! This was almost right in front of me. It looks like you've got Two personnel, you've got two personnel, Baltimore to Washington, new rail line, what a new rail line? How do I get details of what you are? Set up rail line. I don't understand why that would be the case. It seems to be the case. See if we can get that train list back up again. Yeah, you're doing nothing. So we have Collins Estate to Baltimore, so that's that to that. Moore Logging to Baltimore, that's there. New York to Baltimore, that's there. 
Reading to Baltimore. Was informed to Pittsburgh. So is this the big line that I was going to do? It was. Set up rail line. I believe this was the train that was going to go from Baltimore. Logging. I think that's this train's job. And if not, there's now two trains on that line. Right, what do you want, Frankenstein? Now open the train details of my most important train. Is that you? So, right. if you ask me, bickering employees should be put in the corner with a dunce cap on. Big Bull Pete, you're annoying. Right, how do I move you on a sign? Change train. A sign. All right, I think we've done that now. Call on cities, farms, or mines. Of course, your transport income will fall if your competitors connect these to their rail networks. Tracks, locomotives, buildings, and cash all increase the value of your company. And the higher this is, the higher the price of your company stocks. So, I think we're back on track. Someone's just bought shares. Just as other companies buy stocks from you, you were able to buy some from them. If you do that, you will profit from the success of your competitors. You should buy stocks via the company dialogue window now. So who's making the most money? It would be Utrex. Let's get me some shares. You I am making money. Of my success. It does look like I'm making a lot more money than them, which is good. Between us, as it's well, not entirely legal, but we need to keep all of our options open. A saboteur has applied for a job with you. Yes. If you send him to one of your competitors. He will make trouble for them. This yes. This will also cause their stock price to fall. We like that. You don't have to deploy saboteurs to do better than your competitors. Yes, I do. You can deal with them in a more classy and legal way. Take a look at which routes are more lucrative and will ensure you become the most important transport of Will Well, yes. Right, so we're not going to put him to essentially sabotage who we've got shares with. No shit. I think you'll find I'm a dodgy character myself. Thank you very much. We just need oh, more. No. Oh, wow. oh, that wasn't. I did sabotage who I had shares with. I obviously got the names mixed up. One trainload of cotton to New York, and we complete our last objective. I did want this screen open. I want. Do I want a new train? I think we do. This vehicle reminds me of my grandmother. Worn out and slow. That was a little non-PG for a, a game that seems like a kiddie game. You 
should have known most So the new ones are the ones with stars. I mean, basically, it just seems to be a case of expand, expand, expand and make money. So let's do that. Let's get uh, Toledo built in first. Let's find it first of all. As far as I'm aware, there's not a search function. And Knoxville down there. There's Toledo. Uh, it's not a brilliant place, but at least it's flat. Take train station around here if we can. Yeah, it's very flat. I like that. Train station. And we go. Still more money than we can afford, but aside from a little trench, that is pretty much as good as we're going to get. Yeah, we can't beat that really. We're just going to have to wait. We do have dates on all of our tasks. Although, to be fair, all these tasks, are, I think, are rinse and repeat of what we've already done. It is just a case of connect more towns, connect more rural stations, make more profit, and buy more shares. So, honestly, what I think is I have demonstrated this task and I've demonstrated the game to you guys. So, if you've enjoyed the video and you want to get the game, like I say, get it before 17th of September, I think it, it was. Not long left. Go grab yourself a bargain. It is a £27 game. And you get it for absolutely free. All the expansions, lots of replayability, I assume. Bearing in mind I have played uh, Train Fever, Transport Fever, Sid Meier's Railroads. And this seems to be very, very similar to all three titles. Guys, get this game, like, share and subscribe, and if you've not already done so, and I know you've not because it's kind of empty at the moment, join my Discord. There's a link to my Discord from YouTube, and I'll stick it in the description as well. But I think we will end this video here, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Obviously, your support is greatly... Uh, Greatly appreciated. We hope you have a nice day. Ladies and gents, take care.